All right, folks, we are going to attempt this cycling class today. Let's see if I can't get this semi set up here. Hopefully you can see the bike and the profile. So the profile back here, um, I can't get stages of flight to necessarily work like it would in the classroom um, setting, but we also don't have a stages of flight bike, so bear with me. But this is gonna be our profile. We're gonna do a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna have some ins and outs, if you will. So two minutes at kind of a medium um, pace and then one minute um, pushing at a higher resistance. We'll do that three times, take a little bit of a break. Then we've got an endurance ladder. So one minute, um, one minute, two, two, three, three, and then recover. So it's a quick 30 minute class today. Um, I tried to do this one last week and YouTube blocked me right away because of the music. So I am putting on aerobic music. Um, I would suggest that you actually put on your own music at home. Um, this is going to be really light in the background. You probably won't even be able to hear it much at all. It's just kind of a, a placer for me. Um, but for you at home, put on your own music. Jam to whatever you want. It's April 1st, so you can play a bunch of April Fool's songs. You can um, really get into the COVID spirit and play some music like MC Hammer's uh, You Can't Touch This and Tiffany's I Think We're Alone Now, um, anything like that. Or just some motivational songs that can get you going for your workout. I just got done actually running a 5K. So I still have my jacket on because I didn't want to cool off too much. But we're gonna go right into that warm up. This would regularly be my indoor cycling day. It would be cycling tone actually, so you'd get a combination of lifting and cycling. If folks like this 30 minute, if it's something that works for you, um, you're able to play your own music at home, you're able to see the profile, you're able to get motivated and work out with me. If it's something that you like, um, then I can definitely put together full hour classes. This is just a tester. So let me know in the comments below what you think, if it's worth it, or if it's just so stinking nice out, you can still go outside um, and get your workout that way. Totally fine with me. Just trying to give you a little variety. I've been thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to snow. Thursday, Friday. So I think Tomorrow I'm going to try to do a parent-child combo workout. Stole this from my friend Kelly Moyle. Take a deck of cards and create a workout. Getting through the entire deck of cards. So that's kind of the goal tomorrow. We'll see what comes of it if I can convince that little guy after his homeschooling to put together a workout with me. More to come on that. <coughs> it is absolutely gorgeous today, though. Already in the fifties, and it's nine thirty. Crank up that resistance just a little bit. Start 
to make those muscles warm up a little bit more, still in the warm up phase. My son has a birthday coming up on Sunday. It is going to be one of the many COVID birthdays happening. Virtual birthday parties. They're happening everywhere right now. So if you think about it, I want to send a little message to Spencer. His YouTube account is Nipes05. N-Y-P-E-S-05. He would love to be able to catch up to my subscriber list. So go ahead and subscribe. That would be an amazing gift for him. All right, folks. Let's add a little bit more resistance on your bike. Do what works 
for you, you can still get through the same concept for endurance intervals today, whatever toy you're on. We're one minute in, folks, one to go. Then we're adding even more resistance, and we're really pushing for one minute. Relax those shoulders, keep breathing. If you're running on a treadmill, is that a steep incline or fast pace? You can take it to whatever level you want to accomplish today. 10 seconds. seconds. We're going to add on that resistance and give it a push. If I wasn't filming this and YouTube wasn't picking up music, I'd be cranking some filming music right now. Get ready. Four, three, two, hit it. You've got some good music in your background, and it is motivating you to go. Halfway through it, 30 seconds to go.
we've got one more minute before we add that resistance back on. Keep that pace going. Remember, if you have a computer telling you what you're doing, try to stay consistent and steady.
30 seconds. Steady. Fifteen to go. Four, three, two, take it off. Two minutes. You're in that moderate. It's not full recovery. Moderate. Nice work, folks. You can tell I'm breathing heavy, so I'm not talking as much. One minute in, one to go. to wrap a little bit.
Strength workout. Core workout. Go out for a run. Go out for an outdoor bike ride. Being focused on the trainer for at least a short period of time tends to be a little bit more of a workout, however, than going outside for most people. When we're outside, we're casually riding, steady pace, the entire time we're out. You might have other factors, wind resistance, traffic, other things that make you either surge or back off. But for the most part, when you're outside, you're steady. This focus 30 minutes gives you some focus time of really pushing intervals. You've got one more minute. Then we're pumping that resistance up. Get ready. Take a deep breath. Last three minute push. Don't hold back. Don't wait for the end. Just go. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Can you crank it up even more? A little bit more speed. Maybe you're up for a little bit more resistance. Whatever it is, two minutes to go. Keep breathing. Relax those shoulders. <coughs> Crank it up even more. 30 seconds. Come on.
15 go. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Whew. Nice work, folks. You can tell on the profile behind me, the total duration of this class is 34 minutes. That includes the warm up and the cool down. So the work in between was smashed into about 26 minutes or so. Just guessing, did not do the math there. But use the warm up, make sure your body's ready to push, use the cool down so that when you get off the bike, your heart rate is not still spiked up. Make sure it comes down. Right now I'm flushing that lactic acid out of my legs. <clears throat> Even though it wasn't a real all on sprint today, we did push a pretty high resistance for a long time. One more minute here, we'll start to stretch it out. Again, today's gonna be gorgeous. Get on out there, enjoy the outdoors. We've been playing pickleball against the walls of Bear Creek Elementary at night. It's a nice release. Get out while it's still nice out, the sun's still up. Have a little bit of family time outside gives us any last minute energy burned off before we have to come in and start thinking about the next day. All right, we're right at 33 minutes. So shake those arms out. Take that right arm, bring it across your body for a shoulder stretch. <clears throat> you can wiggle those fingers, rotate the wrist, just in case you're grabbing on to those handlebars. Bring that arm forward, press back at the elbow, tricep stretch, nice and tall, core's tight. Open up those arms, take a deep breath up, exhale down, left arm comes across the body, shoulder stretch. Rotate at the wrist, wiggle those fingers out. Bring that arm forward, press back at the elbow. Tricep stretch. Open up those arms, lift through the chest. Take a deep breath up. Exhale down. Shake those arms out. All right, folks, right at 34 minutes, perfect timing. Slowly bring those legs to a stop for me. Position them in a three and nine, one foot forward, one foot back. Stand up on your bike and gently drop those heels. Now, if you're wearing a running shoe inside of a toe cage, 
instead of a clip, then definitely be careful doing this one. Take those hips back over the saddle, chest comes down. You can lean onto those heel bars. Feel that stretch on the back side of your leg, up through the hips. That was awesome. It was only 30 minutes, but it was awesome. Relax down, rotate. Stand it up, drop those heels. I did a 5K on the trail, so most of it was up. And then I got back into the neighborhood, I did a few sprints up and down the hill, then I came in and cycling for 30 minutes. That's a good day to me. Take those hips back over the saddle, chest comes down. Tomorrow will be a little bit more strength as well. For my high school kids, it is a strength day. Monday, Thursday, in your schedule is strength days. So I'll always provide some sort of option for you. And if I don't get it up in time for you ready to work out, do one from last week. Totally fine. We're in maintenance mode right now, folks. You never know. My suspicion tells me that you unfortunately don't get a track season, but let's plan for the best. Let's hope it drops and you get to compete. So I don't want you to go overboard in lifting. Maintenance. Keep strong, but don't overdo it. Relax. Unclip from those pedals. Take it to the side of your bike. Pull one leg back behind. Feel the loop. Release that stretch. Take that same leg, cross it onto your opposite knee, sit back. typically do on Wednesdays. That would be an easy incorporation. Like I have here a table right next to my bike, you can do the same thing. Grab a set of hand weights. We can even get off the bike and do a few different things than we usually do in class. Take that ankle, cross it on your opposite knee, sit back. And release. You made it folks. Hopefully you are able to get outside before it snows tomorrow. Remember tomorrow I plan to play a little game. Hopefully my little man will help me um, put that together. We'll have a fun time with that, um, involving both strength and cardio. And then, heck, we're almost to the weekend again. All right, folks, have a beautiful day. Mwah.